How long are you gonna make me wait? Well, wife, I waited all my life to meet you, so. Aww. Talk about fair play. Hey, how's it going? I'm Charlie. I'm Gene. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasking yes. uh, today, Gene. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go back to the Barrel Craft Spirits Well of Wonderment, because I just made that up for a private release. Private releases from Barrel Craft Spirits do have a unique price. We'll talk about that at the end of the episode along with some scoring and some I was notes. really excited about this one because I really like the uh, sherry cast ah. whatnots and this one said it had some kind of sherry whatnot in it I think. Took the whatnots right out of my mouth. Hey, mm -hmm. watch you slide over a bit Nancy Lee so, we're, so we're, we're centered here. Slide over. So yeah we've got a new bar. Bar's about 90% complete. Before we get to that let's get to the whiskey real quick. This is uh, Barrel Whiskey. It's Barrel Craft Spirits. It's a private release. Whiskey Finish and Pedro Jimenez Sherry Barrel. Uh, if you're curious, this is the DXX2 blend. This won the 2022 New York Spirits Competition Double Gold. Um, won 62.04 uh, ABV, 124.08 proof. Nine, okay. An ample amount of these are out there, about uh, not quite 2,600 bottles. Really? What you getting on the nose there, Dean Well, these, this is like fresh cherries or strawberries. It really I'm is. Definitely getting some red berries on the nose. Red berries, indeed. Make sure I don't have all that other stuff in the, in Maybe the shot. Maybe some uh, cedar wood. Yeah, I'm getting uh, some cotton candy. If cotton candy was stored in like a cedar wood chest or a uh, a cherry, what would you make? Uh, what's the wood that keeps the moths away? Is that redwood? Nope, it's a cedar wood. Cedar wood chest. Moth balls. Yep, cotton candy stored in a cedar. Uh, oak chest, cedar wood chest. Yeah, this is like a cedar uh, cedar wood that, that you just opened and it's full of cherries. This is a blend, but this is a majority of this is 14 year old bourbon. Ah, I'm going in. How about going? There's a lot of caramels here, a little bit of barrel char, uh, some oak, and just a twinge of sherry on here that I did not get in the uncorking, which is the red berries. <laughs> First whiskey of the day, 62 ABV. Woohoo! Well, um, hmm. You sound like the Sir Mix a Lot Buttermilk Biscuit woohoo right there. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> you did. Um, so there is an ABV sting, but before the sting hit me, there was some really delicious red berry, red fruit notes. Um, and then it was like 62% mm. bang! <laughs> She bang, she bang. Stop it. You saw it up to my lips. I know, that's why I waited, yeah. Um, so I was waiting for that transition because as you're talking, you get that, you get that the sherry notes, you get the cherries, you get the berries, and then you get the ABV sting. I purposely went in for a small sip, mm -hmm. um, let it coat my tongue, and I'm still getting, I did not get an ABV sting. All I'm getting are the red berries, a, a twinge of a sweet raisin, uh, Sweet plum. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fruit notes with a hint of caramel and oak. Mm -hmm. My second sip is just it, it's just soaking into my stomach or not my stomach. My it's soaking into my tongue. Get to get in my tummy. Um, it's so mm. juicy and um, man, it's just filling my all my taste buds up with that just berry. It's like a Fruit cake full of berries mm. and raisins and and a uh, lot of brown sugar and some little bit of vanilla and butter. This is a unique bourbon, and I'm it is. I put a lot of water in here. Yeah, I put a fair amount. They do, they call themselves a bourbon on this one. Just whiskey finished, so we don't know. They're not calling themselves a bourbon. That's interesting. Um, distilled in Indiana and Kentucky. This is a rare bottle. Is one of our private releases. We carefully blah blah blah. Okay, um, Barrel Craft Spirits. If you're not familiar, they are becoming the, the industry leader in blends. Um, I don't. I, I'm trying to figure out a mash bill. Is why I'm talking so much out loud oh, right I, now. Oh, I I don't have any idea. The water um, made brought out just more strawberry. You know, like a strawberry Twizzler. Like like you just opened up a fresh bag of tr strawberry Twizzlers. Stupid mm. keto. Now I want a bag of strawberry Twizzlers. Wow. Yeah. I wonder if there's any carbs in that. Nope. There's no carbs in that. 
Uh, I'm getting oak. I'm still getting all the berries. And we've had this open for probably a week now. Mm. Maybe two weeks. Yeah, the water's the way to go. I think I might actually bring in some more water. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm bl blind, I'm thinking there's a lot of corn in this. Maybe even some wheat. Due to all that sweetness I'm getting. I'm not getting any rye. I'm not getting any malted barley notes. Ooh. So far, this this to me would be something that I would definitely want to put over rocks, I think. Mm. I think I would need, because of the, I mean, it's 62, you said? 62. We, I mean, we have some 70s. Um, most barrel craft spirits are going to be between 55 and, heck, 66. Mm. I've put in four heavy drops of water. And um, it's it's starting to smooth out, starting to get more creamy, and it's like a strawberry smoothie. Um, hmm, that is just filling my entire mouth. It is so creamy. See, we recently reviewed like for Pete's sake, and it's a forty, and it wasn't great. And we're like, ah, do we really want to add water to this? We don't. But even master distillers, ah, look at you, look at you. You said master distillers? Yeah, even the master distillers, will, they'll take their whiskey down when, when they're nosing it and when they're when they're drinking it down to 30 ABV, 25 ABV, mm. just to see what, what is in there that they're, that they're looking for. Um, so don't be afraid to take it past the 40. I have to sometimes remind myself to, and talk myself into take it past the 40. Well, when it starts to taste like water, there's no reason really for me to go down any further. This is not at all tasting anything like water. This is f getting more fruity. The straw is to me it's it's heavy strawberry with yeah. a little bit of cherry, but the strawberry for me, it's that strawberry twizzler. It smells it, tastes it. This is by no means is this a sherry bomb, but it is it is PX, right? I don't think it's old rose. PX, yes, PX sherry barrel finish. Um, but for me, the nose I just got just now was the same one on the very first time we tried um, when we barrel our own whiskey for the first time. That first time we went into it. That sweet oak is what I got in this this time. Huh, okay. You got some scoreboards for us? Yeah. You do. Scoreboard. Mmm. Oh, that's coming down nicely. Mm-hmm. Man, I almost think we need to take it down even more. Yeah, okay. This is now starting to taste a lot like, um, what, what did we just have the other day? Not a strain of hands. It's sweeter than Elijah Craig. That's good. That's good. Um, now you say I gotta press down hard on these markers. My God, man. Yeah, you do. We'll be right back. <laughs> and I saw you shake them. You guys got Snickers? I think we might be here for a while. Oh, good Lord, man. This is like... It's an awkward 91 for me, Jean. What did you do? I did an 89. 89, really? Did, wow. I'll tell you why. Well, tell me why. Um, because I, when I go for a whiskey, I won't think that, oh, this is something I gotta add water to. I gotta put this over okay. ice, ice. I gotta do something to change this before I like it. Um, <sighs> now, granted, normally I like that kind of stuff where it changes, but it's not really changing it with, I'm not getting different flavors as I add more water. I'm just getting this more of the same flavor. It's just getting more creamy. No, Jean, I don't mean to tell tales out of school here, but you said you, you don't want to change it to make it like it, but yet you changed your husband, and now you like him infinitely more. No, I want to. <laughs> uh, so speaking of a, a bourbon to reach, we're getting ready to do a top five couple top fives. The top five, we got nominated by uh, Whiskey Lover Society to do it, the top five challenge. We're going to do that. And uh, top five uh, go to uh, go back to bourbons. We're going to do that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe to the channel and check us out. Thumbs up if you like us. Thumbs down if you hate us. Or if you just hate me but like her, do one or the other. <laughs> Let's really be honest. People are tuning in for you, not for me because I, I talk know. too damn much. Yeah, you're a talker. Um, I'm so, a drinker. He's a talker. <laughs> <laughs> well, the more you drink, the better I look. So. I have to drink a lot. Uh, so, talked earlier at the beginning of the video. This is a, a unique price bill for Barrel Craft Spirits. Pretty much any Barrel Craft Spirits is going to be $80. Their private releases are pretty much going to be all $90 to 110 
This jean, I believe, was 110. Am I correct? Correct. Is it worth 110 to you? Um, so I'll say yes. I'm gonna say yes because mm -hmm. I think this could last a, a long time. I think it will last a long time. I never thought about how long it will last as a value measure of value, but that's an interesting well, way to I look mean, at it. I mean, because for me, I'll have to bring it down. So a, a dram of I got pink fingers. A dram of something else uh, would be like a half of this because the other half would be like ice or water or something. And I'm not one to drink one on rocks, but I can easily see summertime that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. hey, maybe we need to do like a top five whiskeys to drink on ice when you don't like whiskey on ice. You mean we have to start drinking it on ice? Nope. Okay. <laughs> like it. Uh, anything to add, Jean? No, no, it's Dad. I'm Charlie. I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. Oh, I forgot to talk about the bar. Next time.